Okay, yeah, we are definitely going to need to heal. Oh. This will be a good show off for all the training I have. Okay, okay never mind. I can usually survive most of these fights, except when it's a more Onyx and Assassin. Like, most of them, I'm fine on. But when it comes to those ones, just no. It's especially better when they're crazy pizzas, because they're easy knockouts, but... Oh, good. To everyone watching this, I do apologize about my bed. It... A board kind of is in the process of wanting to to snap because my bed literally hates me so I do apologize uh, if my bed sounds as if it is creaking so bad not my intention to have a bad bed but what the hell can you do And audio does seem to be coming through well as well. But anyway, hello my demons, welcome to part 8 of... Enchanted Arm. I came about a guy with an enchanted arm. And we that get enchanted arms in... The essence of armaments that are enchanted. So, I am going to also show off how stupid I have been. I will, I will freely admit that I, this was the stupidity of my part. So, for the longest time, for eight episodes, let's say seven episodes, it's just like, okay, how come I can't, I, I know I've been getting weapon cores, I forgot you need to... Press right bumper. Is that seriously the weapon? Just those little bits? It's so weird. Oh, wait, no, I guess it's not. It showed. But yeah, uh. Yep. Oh. That was freely my own stupidity. Yeah. This one, since it's just started, let's summon in Blood Fencer. Hmm. No, we could easily buy a bunch of them. What level is she? She's thirty one. Ah. What skills do you have? Can I not check skills out? Um, okay. Yes, I want to look at the skills, but... Uh, 
Right. For skills. Check. Hmm. So that's very limited and very close quarters. So yeah. Probably best keeping skeleton in for now. Swap. Sorry, blood fencer. We'll swap with you. Yeah, can we create another one? I didn't actually check that. Okay. Let's assume we're gonna bring an MB destroyer. This is bio for everyone wants to read, as always. Destroyer is just fun. Uh, let's check what level he was. I don't think it'd be that high. Yeah, level 22. What? Relatively okay. Can we create. I could. Okay, so we can't. Oh. I'm very happy with the team we've currently got. Uh, yeah. So, well, I was kind of offline grinding. I did move all the way down here. So, do, 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 do. it'd be nice if we could actually swap out at Sumos, but as you can see. Can't remove them from the party, so I do get to hear extension is just permanently stuck at one HP and EP doesn't bring him meteor source. <laughs> Didn't hit us once. Yes, and yeah, you're gonna see Okay. You're not gonna see because I already kind of activated it, but essentially once we get down to this bridge everyone's just like okay which way do we go to the east actually oh, so. yeah I'll be to the east which is weird uh yeah I mean, uh, uh, they're just like, nah, to get to Kyoto, we've got to go this way, but first we've got to go through Junk City, and Yuki's just kind of quiet. The reason Yuki is kind of quiet is because Junk City is where she's from. Let us fight fair. Yeah, 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 stuff like that. So, you didn't miss out on grand scheme of things, it was a massive story relevant. Uh, also, as you can see, I did kind of level up everything except for Primrose. I'm putting a bit of faith in Eli, I think. The Primrose gets better. At least that's why I have the underlevel golem in the body. And these fights, though, it's just like fight, fight, fight. Uh, yeah, see, that's to the east, not to the west. Oh, I don't know, that's north. And I suppose 
if that way is north and here it is to the west, but yeah, it's more about your perceptive perception. If you don't know, then the way you're facing is north and that way is east. <sighs> Like I'm gonna say this pretty much every stream, but I really just enjoy the fact that we don't have to spend 10 years on one fight. <coughs> Final Fantasy 10. <coughs> oh, sorry, I had a really annoying battle system game stuck in my throat. Uh, let's edit party. APO out. Actually, I'll have the humans out fighting first. Hey, look, it's a god. Hey, god, buddy, can you help me out? Oh, that's the end of that. I'm glad I don't have to keep turning people away. But I'm going to have a lot of free time to think from now on, I think. Oh, to open again that Lady Karin's grand. You may pass. No, oh, thank you. I'm so glad that we can now freely head to the place we need to go. Hello. You guys are still incredibly weak. If Yuki was the one letting us down, uh, that'd be the big oof of the Yuki. But also, yeah, as you can see, I finally actually did equip them with better weapons. I think before she was just wearing that, and yeah. Again, I will freely admit my own stupidity. Those do boost up her health. Uh, let's see. About 300 points of health. Versus. Yeah, honestly, I'd say having. I said this one when you compare Gaia Blaster. Gaia Blazer versus that. Where's Paradoxia? The you get like 60 points of health for like 10 points of damage. Yeah, it's just not worth it for the 60 points of health. <sighs> I mean, if it was slightly more, then I'd say sure, but as it stands, it's just not worth it. Now, does the road actually split in two here? Let me really just totally go this way. You fool, I have the auto ground. Oh, so you're going to have to forgive me. Still bloody sick. And I have been talking quite a lot, honestly. It just has been so annoying. Vampire.
I did not realize there would be butterfly. Well, it's like level 45. need roughly about a hundred of each I'm going to say it's a good thing Money is not really that much of an issue. Last up, let's summon Galeria. Galeria. Sound creepy, so we need sixty six of each. That actually works out a bit better. So we need fourteen of you. So it's pretty much the same as that is a golem down there. That is definitely a golem. So I come this way was a good thing because we got I don't know what golem this is actually. Little hobby ones. They are so cute. Obvious. Right, let's check out Mega Flash Shoot. Uh, I killed it. So, she's gonna be good for healing and a life vacuum, which is going to be pretty good. Bad. Well, pretty good when paired with 
APO. Just gotta level them up a bit. We didn't get the old piece. Oh. get hurt, run away now. Okay, beloved by many for its way of speaking, it sounds honestly kind of creepy if I'm being perfectly honest. But. I suppose we can check out our Orpheus core because Orpheus. That's just a oh, and the hobbies. So cute. If they ever did, we I would love if they managed to master this game. That's what I call strategic. Because yeah, this game for 2006 ish. Still looks pretty damn good. I got a few faults, but again, 2006, and there was Orpheus. Level 34, so I'm quite happy with the team I've currently got. Just east. As soon as we start heading east, of course, it starts to look more urban. Which, obviously, in Kyoto, there is the Earth Golem. I really forget what he's called. Ruler of Earth. Town of Earth. He's called something. Obvious. Let's go Google. Ooh. Gale Enter. I want you. I'm going to be honest, that is kind of lame. Compare that to Queen of Ice, which, yeah, sounds alright for a name, but then you've got Emperor of Fire, which honestly I think sounds better. Emperor sounds better than Queen, and then you've just got Lord of Earth. This is a okay. Have the least fun sounding game out of all of them. Oh my god, what is with all these steps? Just look at these steps. They don't even. My feet don't even stand on these steps. Is it so. I mean, I guess it would be, but... Come on, game devs. If you're going to make steps, make them realistic. Hashtag make steps realistic. Oh, Pegasus. Uh, it's just called Pegasus. I want it. I want all the Pegasus. Thank you. 
Okay, instead of attacking, you chose to spend your last turn boosting yourself up. I love that logic there. Please don't ever change that. Money nowhere near as much as we just spent on those gems to boost up to get those cores, but still relatively decent chunk. Yazamlop yeah, Glob West. Shop, 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 where well, we can buy new cores. Yes, just down there, there is a harpy, which we can fight to get its call. In order to make friends, we need to beat the ever-loving shit out of them. At least this is what this game is telling me, to make friends, beat the crap out of them. I don't think that's actual advice though, but... Hey, what do I know? I'm not a game developer. Now, I just want to check. Is this the way we go? It would appear that it is. We're gonna get a hug. Not that we beat up these ones. These also kind of remind me of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Or at least... Some of the designs... Like the Hoppy one kind of reminds me of a Yu-Gi-Oh card. I forget which one. But um... On the original Xbox was possibly my favorite. My only... I should say Yu-Gi-Oh game that I've ever really had, which, ah, god damn it, the name eludes me, but, <sighs> it pretty much was the only game that I'd really played, and I just played the crap out of it. Well, hoppies, what? Not insult them. Okay, hmm. ruby butterflies. Definitely. Close range. So that's going to be a bit of an issue. Probably could have taken them out a bit easier had we just actually ordered. Happy core! And we can't even get up that way anyway. Good to know! I was avoiding going up there because it looked like there were two ladders, but nope, if there's only one, we can't go up there anyway. Look, from today onward, I'm 
turning of a new leaf. I'm not going to just be here completely screaming at how stupid stuff is. New leaf. Flipped. I'll, I'll ditch the glass right after this pretty and flip it over. Oh. I'm turning over a new leaf now. I'm not going to completely sit here and complain about everything else stupid it is. The fast forward feature though is really like I'd be fine with just order battle. <sighs> but you need a fast forward feature really comes in handy. Yeah, I was hoping there was a way that you could just cancel the golem amount uh, the golem animations like Pokemon or something. But it doesn't look that way. Can we get more cores? More cores, please. No. Ow. Oh. There is Hoppy. Wait uh Aside from the underwear, which is honestly kind of cute. I kind of like the pink wings. Yeah, we kind of hard to take them places. Unless. Okay, I can kind of think that maybe. If in terms of flying. Like if she's flying around, maybe hook her legs under their arms and fly them that way. Either that or. They hold on to her legs, but I'd have to say hooking your legs under the arm, under the armpits, and flying like that would probably be better. But I don't think she'd be able to carry that much. <sighs> it's a shame we can't synthesize her. Oh, okay. Down here, I think. Cute. Yeah. Oh, there's some lily, lily. Ah, damn. This is just really bringing back so many memories. I remember most of these. Ah. Damn it. I have missed this game more than I thought. All right. Down here, I'm pretty sure it's a boss fight. Because I know it has something to do with Yuki. Wow, how beautiful. Cool, look at all these flowers. This is the White Path. Aptly named. There is a legend that surrounds this place, as I recall. This is where people bid farewell to the dead. Bid farewell? To the dead? That's right. The white flower plumes rising upward are the souls of the dead, flying off to sprout a new life somewhere else. So they say, I see. That's quite a beautiful legend. <laughs> As you say. I hate it personally. What? Poetic nonsense. 
Dead people turn into seeds and germinate? That's just the living trying to console themselves. Sentimental baloney. Baloney? That's right. Anyway, there's another, even more beautiful tale about this place. Even more beautiful? Oh, yeah. They say that a legendary golem sometimes appears here. And if I get my hands on that golem, my standing as a golem hunter will rocket. That's more beautiful to you, is it? Surely human life means more to you than golems or money. I don't need a lecture, okay? What's with her anyway? Oh, let her be. Come on. Okay. Hey, Atsuma, do you think I could take some of these flower plumes? They don't belong to anyone, do they? Why not? Okay, then. Just a few. What do you want with them, anyway? It's... a secret. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I mean, anyone with half a brain queen could tell that she clearly thinks of something of this spot. But here we have... Little thing girl. It was absolutely adorable. We will cut it. We are going to kill you and take your core. I wish I knew those things. I kind of. If they did do a remaster of this game, I just really would like if they had an English voiceover. Pearl Cotton Core. Oh, it's a cave. Caves lead to exploration. Oh. Never mind. Much exploring. Can I turn the best cave? I mean, only the best level of exploring. That just looks a bit too perfect. It's like, eh, for Pegasus, I was right in. Uh, Head up and have a look at Pearl Cotton and fight the 50 golem fights that it's going to take us to get up here. No? Not 50 billion golem fights? Let's just go. Pearl Cotton! Isn't she just adorable? Good little quilt garden. Oh. Actually, what level is she? Level 33. So, relatively about the same level we are. I should probably heal before we actually head back down. Is that the cave we were just... Okay, that's the cave we were just in. Can they really not afford to just 
we fill in that little bit there. It's like, yes, in order to get through here, in order to not break your legs, you must walk around this really tiny little. No, it is all fight. Check that one song. Fight to your right to beat the living crap out of them. Saturday. I'll be honest, I completely had no idea that that day. What the fuck happened to Friday? Let's do this quick. So, so what happened to Friday? Specifically, what the hell happened to Friday? Uh, me and my bloody memory. I have no idea what the hell I did on Friday. Also, my check was Thursday. Now snap. Ow. Now, so maybe I should take off. And they're earning a fair decent amount of SP. Even it just looks so bad. Slept all day. You know what? That honestly wouldn't surprise me. I have absolutely no idea why, but I was completely dead tired for the past couple of days. Like, and I mean, completely dead tired. Let's swap back out human cactus now. Hmm. Oh, 
we head this way? This is still There needs to be a way you wouldn't survive enchanted arms if all the golems start going nuts. Because you're going to get fight after fight after fight after fight after fight. Ten million fights just trying to move two feet. This game was realistic, and all the golems are just popping up everywhere. Yeah, this game wouldn't run. There'd be just that many golems moving around that it would not even keep up. Hey, looks like a fight. Lily, Lily. It really is terrible. They're going to like it about most of the gold. But still, that looks really good. Cool. That ain't gonna work, buddy. Okay, you gotta. You little. Bloody Pegasus, man. Ah, oh, Gale Lancer. I think. Something. I think it is Gale Winter. Gale Winter. No. No end break. And as you can see, Junk City. Well, hopefully, we can find some more bloody cores. I like getting new cores, new cores are always good. We're just gonna run from now. It costs us more VP to run, but this is quicker. It's getting uh, hotter. Yeah, very hot. My clothes are drenched in sweat. They're full of sand too. I just want to throw them off and jump into a cold bath. Milady, please compose yourself. But Rygar, don't you feel the same way? Ah. Uh. It really is hot. Well, of course it is. We've reached the desert, that's why. But if you can't handle this much heat, we'll never get across the desert. It's a lot hotter out there. You seem to know the area, Yuki. Huh? Oh, well, you know, I'm from Junk City after all. Really? Then you'll be able to show us around. Huh? Uh, well... We're counting on you, Yuki. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, no problem. I'll be like uh, a tour guide or something. Shame we don't get anyone from Kyoto in the party, but oh. 
One from Yokohama, two from London, and one from Kyoto. So, this is Junk City. It certainly lives up to its name. Hey, I kind of like it. Yeah? Thanks. Hey! Yuki! Ah! <laughs> You're back! Yeah, I guess I am. Huh, here to cause more trouble, are you? No, I hadn't planned on it. We're headed to Kyoto City, just passing through. Huh, <laughs> well, I hope so. I've got some bad news for you, too. Bad news? That magic instrument you wanted so badly? Fubile got his hands on it. What? <laughs> Tough luck, kid. Atsuma, there's something I've got to do. Can you amuse yourselves here for a while? Huh? Hey. hey. See you later. Hey, come back. What's that all about? I wanted her to show us around. As a native of this place, that's her duty, right? I don't remember you showing me around London, though. What? Nothing, nothing. I mean, you didn't. <coughs> kind right. of a bitch Let's move. Let's just take a look around ourselves. Okay, no problem. Why don't we meet up back at the Oasis? As you say. Okay. But if anything... Green was a lot more. Ooh, when we first got to London. It's like, yeah, I'm going to bust you out of jail. And pretty much forced you to work for me. Interesting that she's from London, though. When I say interesting, I suppose she obviously dressed up to come here. If you're hungry, maybe try not eating five square meals a day. I mean, that obviously means you get cut down a bit. <sighs> more cores? Damn it, no more cores. Let's clean down there. Hold on, why are you with Queen Rhaegar? She said I was in her way doing her shopping. So I'm watching over Lady Queen from back here. Rhaegar. I think you'd better stop that, you look like a stalker. You kinda do, buddy. You kinda do. Maybe take a little chill pill on the stalker vibes. I was literally about to say. I think that's Yuki's house, and there it was. I am smart, smart. I remember game, game. <laughs> Yuki, 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 Yuki. Hey, Yuki. Bro, I'm sorry. Hey, Yuki. I'm going to be number one in the world. I'll get that instrument and money. 
Hey, what's up, Yuki? <laughs> and yeah, shocking twist. Yuki has character development. No way. Bro? Bro? Who, me? Uh, Atsuma. Atsuma. It's you. Yeah, who'd you think it was? What are you mumbling about? Nothing. Of course it's you. Uh, I can see you now. <laughs> You're weird. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize, okay? It's time to leave anyway. The others should be close to the Oasis by now. Okay, but could you go on ahead? Well, okay. No problem. I'll see you there. Okay. Thanks. I won't be long. <clears throat> Obviously, she's going to be quite a while because she wants to break into Fowl's house and steal the instrument which caused the golem to that area. Golem lab. The folks in the city think about three things. Money, money, money. No one here appreciates my ancient tales. Ancient tales? Like what? Well, well, well. You know that you are the first to inquire further. Then let me tell you the long forgotten story of this region. Long ago, the devil king almost ruined the world. But powerful magicians fought back. Each region was told that the magician's power alone defeated the Devil King. But this wasn't the case. They actually employed powerful holy beasts in the battle. After the holy beasts had defeated the Devil King, they lost their minds, however. And the magicians were forced to seal them away deep underground. That's the older story from this region. Tears take their root from the devil golems are still told elsewhere today. There was some truth to this tear too, then maybe, just maybe, golems of amazing power still slumbering nearby. Well, pretty epic, doesn't that buzz back to excite you as much as it does me? Yeah, we have also encountered two of them. We can't beat them currently, but we found two of them. That is the turtle and the phoenix. It kind of mildly somewhat sucks that we can't actually get them yet, but we will in time. Uh, Desert Dunes, that's the exit. And curly up there is for Bowser's house. <sighs> Obviously, it has to be the most flashy, flashy house. What is down here, though? Is that golem down here? I don't think there is. Down here is Junk City Q Rock Pinnacle. Holy beast shine approach, so... Ah! Curious if these fights are going to be difficult. Oh, are there fights here? Interesting. Oh, right, there we go. Interesting that they're not as tough as I was expecting.
I get the feeling they'll be made a lot tougher the further on we go. <laughs> Didn't hit us once. God damn it. Do not attempt to pack cap if it puts you off balance. Go Barry. Go Barry is also cute. Just like... This game has a lot of female gun wielding golems. Yep. I mean I could list them but we'll eventually see them. Oh Nah Ear and Liam Rosa. We're going to get completely torn to shreds of the Holy Beast Shrine, aren't we? Hmm. Oh. I thought there was a random skeleton there. But no, it is Crowberry. Maybe it does about 232. How much do you do? 202. So APO is still. Longer than you. This is interesting. Honestly, everything is at all. Middle of saving up a game PC, and all I want to do is buy snacks. Hey, seriously, that's all I want to do just buy snacks. Do you know how much snacks? I could buy of the money. I could buy so many snacks. Oh, okay. We need all four holy beasts to get in here. This isn't where a holy beast is. Damn it. Well, 
that was kind of a letdown. But at least you got a Corberry Core. Anyway, I'm gonna be right back because I need to go to it, so I'll be right back.
I missed it because I didn't talk to everyone, everyone. But they also do teach you that you can save. Yeah. This game lacks its lacks so little faith that it teaches you how to save as well. Two hundred speed cores. Let's hope we're not about to get completely screwed over here. But if we do, we have a save just in case. A complete whip off. Uh. Now, do we actually need that on? Oh, okay. Wait, hang on. Support things were. Oh, okay, wow. No, I'm stupid. Uh, so that's. They're not even in the party, so I can't. I was just like, let's equip some supports for them. But they're not even in the party. The oasis is down here. Yeah, here we are. Exactly as I predicted. Hey, sorry to keep you waiting. You certainly took your time. It's too hot to be kept waiting like this. Yuki isn't here either. I just saw her. She said she wouldn't be long, which means she'll be here any time now. I hope so. Let's just wait a little longer. Hmm. She isn't coming. Yes. Strange. What's going on, Atsuma? How would I know? Really? Some people have no idea how to travel in a group. I don't think you're one to talk, Kareen. What? Milady, calm down. Look, Yuki is coming. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I got held up. Gee, you think? What have you been playing at? 
nothing much. Just had a little business to take care of. By business, she means she stole something. I don't want to know anymore. Let's get out of this fire pit anyway. Move out! Sound the alarm! What now? Something's going on over at that big mansion. Let's go check it out. Very well. <sighs> I wonder what could potentially be going on. Definitely need to start improving there. How much HP is 20 anyway? Oh, that's not too bad, not the best, but could be a lot worse. Residents. I mean, all things considered, they got really good spots is that they're right by the exit out. But at the same time, a really bad spot if anyone tries to attack this place, so they're going to be the first people that are going to attack. What is up this way? A giant skeleton. Is there anything of worth actually up here? Yeah, none have gone beyond it because they need the four holy beast golems. I almost just said titans. Yeah, depends what view you mean. Because for the most part, if you're looking that way, you just have that gaudy mansion, but you know, the other way you pretty much just see city wall. Which I say gaudy because it's made entirely out of gold. Sounds like some thief broke into Fubile's house. They've got some guts then. A burglar? What happened? Someone has stolen from Fubile, the richest man in town. And what's worse, they stole a valuable ancient treasure. An ancient treasure? That's terrible. Collecting valuable treasures and golems is Fubile's life. He must be furious. Who's Fubile? That filthy rich... Uh, I mean, that well-dressed older gentleman over there. Yeah, I see him. Just what kind of guards are you, anyway? Yeah, talk about Gordy. I'm off purchasing new dyes and my golem flute is stolen? My humblest apologies. You didn't notice the window being smashed into pieces? You didn't notice my valuable treasure walking out in broad daylight? I... I... Do you know how much that item was worth? Y yes I believe I do. Yet you let someone steal it from under your nose? 
Boss, no, I never. Don't call me boss. I've had enough of this. Y yes my apologies. You're going to pay for this. The rules of the Sandstorm Excavators are absolute. You know what that means? N no Boss! I'm telling you to stop calling me boss. I hate people who need to be told twice. Take him away. Bury him alive in the sand. Very good. Bury him right up to the neck, understand? No problem. No, no! Come on. Please, boss, no! I told you not to call me that! <laughs> call me boss again and I'll tweak those idle ears off! What's with this guy? He seems pretty arrogant. He's Fubile, the leader of Junk City. The boss of the Sandstorm Excavators. A band of grave robbers back in the day. But now, he's got a nice big house and is playing at being a nobleman. Of course, inside, he's still rotten to the core. Yeah, but still kind of cool too, don't you think? The boss of a band of rogues. Hey! Who was that? Who just said boss? Oh, you've done it now. You, there in the red. Was it you? Hey, that girl next to you. Yuki? You're back? Yep, I guess I am. I see, I see. That solves that then. Huh? Ben, seize Yuki. No problem. Yes, sir. Hey, why me? What did I do, huh? What did you do? Hmm, <laughs> trick question. I wonder now, what did you do? I suppose it's a coincidence that as soon as the infamous Desert Hyena returns, my precious magic instrument goes missing? Hey, what are you implying? I'd never... There's little you wouldn't do. I know that much. Everyone in town knows that. Now just... Why you? And who might you be? Atsuma. She's with me. You can't just take her away. Ah, reckless youth. You want to take me on, do you? You realize that in this town that means death. <laughs> you can't kill me. I can't die yet. I've got something important to do. Ha! Huh. You're a fool. Well, you'll have to take us all on then. And the odds are not on your side. <laughs> But I admire your spirit. So I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal. If you find the real culprit, if indeed it was someone else, I'll let Yuki go. Atsuma! Don't worry, leave this to me. I'll find the real thief. Right, we need to find this thief. Yes, I know that much. But having us... Having gotten into this mess, do you have any idea how to proceed? No. No, you fool. What were you thinking then? Just think for a minute anyway. Yuki may have actually done this, you know. Indeed, she did seem interested in obtaining this magic instrument. But she's our friend. Huh? Before we start doubting her, let's gather some information, okay? We can decide if she did it after that, yeah? 
Yeah, I suppose you kind decided showing food, you know. Information gathering, then. Oh, what information do we need to gather? What do you think, moron? First, a statement from the victim. Second, any statement from witnesses. Third, the culprit's motives. And is the three things we need to solve the case. Lady Queen. I think there is probably plenty more information that we could use. Silent Sound Sword. Silent Sword? Of course. When, going, when carrying out hard boiled investigations like this, we, do, we go by code names that accurately display our abilities. That makes you Silent Sword, Rhaegar. I'm going to be Madonna. Anna, some, uh, you can have a little say in your code name if you like. Which of your abilities would you like to be based on? Hmm. Go hot blooded passion. Let me think. Well, I'm pretty hot blooded, so how about basing my name on that? Very well. Then I'll let the investigation begin. Burning. Burning. Let's go burning. We need to gather a statement from the victim. Statements from the witnesses. The culprit's motives. Yeah, I got it, Silent Sword. Yeah, I can this just no. We need to get a statement from the victim. Okay, for bow. Excuse us. Do you have a moment? Oh, you again. Have you found the thief yet? Would like to ask you a few more things, actually. Very well. Ask away. Okay, so... Just about the stolen item, then. The stolen item was an ancient magical instrument known as a golem flute. The golem flute? What is it used for, this flute? Nothing. Purely for decoration. I just like the look of it, that's all. But it's a flute, right? Yes, and do you have a problem with that? No, not really a problem. One thing, so. What? How did you obtain this golden flute in the first place? I dug it up in my own hands. Thank you very much. What are you implying? Nothing. I was just wondering how you get your hands on it. Well, don't. I'm not under suspicion of anything here. I have nothing more to say about that. Now, do you need me to ask anything else? Do you need to ask me anything else? Okay, so... What can you tell us about possible culprits then? Possible culprits. There's only one, certainly. Someone who I think is most suspicious in this matter. I need a drink. It's also been raining incredibly. Quite a. It's been raining pretty heavily lately, which I love. That really needs to have a lot more rain. Oh yeah? And who's that? Yuki, of course. Ha 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 Any other ideas? I'm the former leader of a band of shady characters, let me say. I have so many enemies, I hardly think a list of them would do you any good. I see. Is there anything else you want? Okay, so, about the crime scene. Tell us about the crime scene. Yes, any evidence of who it might have been? Evidence at the crime scene, nothing in particular, I'm afraid. There were almost no traces of the thief. So we're looking for a highly skilled culprit. Indeed, the first thing. 
I was saying she managed to get inside without anyone noticing. Once inside the locked room, she could take her time and make sure to leave no traces. The room was locked, so how did the thief get inside? Ah, uh, looks like she came in for the ventilation. The ventilation? The grill was lifted off the ventilation shaft near the rear of the house. Fortunately, my patrols do not cover that part of the house. Who could get in there anyway, aside from a mouse or a cat? Hmm, so the thief entered for tight ventilation shaft. While burning? What does that tell us about the criminal? Easy. <laughs> the thief uses trained mice. Obviously, that they're light, small, and nimble. Done. Impressive, especially coming from you. <laughs> Expect no less. You're right. The thief must be quite small and light. The finger of suspicion points to a child or a woman, then. The criminal also has a keen eye for their surroundings. You don't normally notice a small ventilation shaft like that. What else do we need to ask? Oh, I don't think there's anything else we need to ask. Well, come back if you think of anything. Do your best to get your little friend off the hook, yes? We'll see you some useful information, but nothing conclusive, I'm afraid. Let's look for some more leads. Okay. Really, I would hate to say what you will about how I build a Minecraft, but come on, dude. Solid gold, everything. Yeah. Uh. Anyway, I'm going to call it here. I hope everyone enjoyed it. I know it was a bit short, but I will catch you all in the morning. Bye for now.